CBS 58's Rose Schmidt continues our vaccine team coverage and is live from the Wisconsin Center to separate fact from fiction for us on this COVID-19 vaccine. Rose. Amanda, for some of us, the hardest part may be just getting out the door and coming to a clinic like this to get the vaccine. You may still have questions or be in the wait and see phase. Well, we're here with some answers. That sigh of relief you hear at the Wisconsin Center. I don't think we waited like three minutes. Yeah, it's the sound of assurance from those glad to be protected from COVID-19. We figured it was about time. I have a couple of friends that are already vaccinated and uh, they're high risk as well. But some aren't as sure as David. Ajay Sethi is a professor at UW-Madison and he wants to provide that certainty to questions like, should we be concerned about long-term effects from the COVID vaccine? So we've had five months uh, since people have, were first immunized. And when you think about long-term effects of vaccines, if they're going to be any, they will reveal themselves within three months. Were the vaccines rushed? Sethi points to the recent pause of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as evidence of how carefully federal agencies review the vaccines. Well over a quarter billion people on the, on the planet who have been getting these vaccines Lots of good surveillance systems out there that monitor for side effects. If I got Pfizer or Moderna, why do I need two doses? That second dose gives the immune system a little bit more training so that you get longer lasting immunity. Do I need the vaccine if I had COVID already? So if you've had the infection before, you probably develop some immunity. Uh, the issue is that immunity is not likely to last very long. Professor Sethi also says it's a myth that you can get COVID from the vaccine because the vaccine does not contain the virus. We asked him several more questions that we weren't able to include in this story, but we will put his full responses up on our website, CBS58.com. Reporting live from the Wisconsin Center, Rose Schmidt, CBS58 News.